Godliness with contentment is great gain. That's what the Bible says. One of the many reasons people miss out on the right one God has in mind for them and thereby forfeit every chance of having a lasting relationship is because they were not contented. It is either they are not contented with their single state or the one that God is leading them to. They want to live the good life, have the best things, go for celebrity status, be known by all and sundry. They want to have someone that is according to their own specifications and desires and by so doing, they miss the important points of being in a relationship. Even before going into a relationship, the fact that you are contented with what God has in mind for you is a sign that you will have a good and lasting relationship. And this does not mean settling for less. No, far from it. It only implies that you are not going ahead of yourself and so will be patient to wait for the one for you. It will guide you when it is time to choose a partner and even in the relationship. It allows peace to reign and keeps the relationship strong. Many people have ruined their chances by unhealthy comparisons. They want what others have without considering their relationship from all aspects. They only see the outward part of it, the show and the glamour, but do not know what is actually going on in these relationships. When you are contended, you will not fall into the trap that comes with material and physical glitter. You accept whatever and whoever God brings across your path and that is very important if you will have a lasting relationship. Patience This is very much related to being contended. Patience and contentment work hand in hand, and it is a virtue that cannot be overemphasized. The saying that the patient dog eats the fastest bone is now becoming obsolete in our time. Fast food, quick order, quick fixes, and a lot of other things that comes with the rise in technological advancements has affected the pace at which we do things. And it is just not about our physical activities. Our emotional and relationship lives are being affected gradually. So, when a person feels the urge to indulge in sexual relations, they go with anyone that is available instead of waiting till marriage. Patience is no longer considered as being cool. Some even think it is foolish. The sad thing is that they take the same approach into relationship. When they come of age or have some kind of emotional needs, they just go with anyone, start a relationship and within a few days or weeks, the whole thing comes crashing. That is because they were not patient to wait for the right one. If you will have a relationship that will stand the test of time, one where you will be loved and cherished, you have to be patient in getting to know the person. The patient dog still gets the fattest bone. Do not be fooled by whatever people are saying around. Nothing good comes easy. It takes time and process. It needs to be refined and defined. The fact that you are patient implies that you will not hurriedly make a choice without considering everything that needs to be considered. Moreover, the time you spend waiting will be an opportunity for you to build yourself in character and other areas. You must have prayed well about it also, and so, when the time comes, you are more than prepared to take on the task that is before you. If you will enter into a lasting relationship, one of the things that God will build in you is patience. It is a sign that your love will last. Mutual Agreement or Interests it is important to note that agreement in any relationship is very key. When there is no agreement, there will be no progress, no movement at all. It is something that should not be taken for granted. In fact, it is one of the very things you look out for before entering a relationship. Attraction is good and has its own importance. The spark and chemistry that you have when you are together also matters but all of that does not equate to being on the same side with your partner on important issues that are crucial for the success of the relationship. You must be able to see eye to eye on certain things, otherwise there will be a wreck in that relationship sooner or later. In essence, you can easily tell how long you will be with a particular person based on the level of agreement you have with them. Friends 
that share similar views, have similar vision and perspectives to life usually stick together than those with opposing characters. That is one thing you should consider before jumping the gun and entering into any relationship with anybody. What are your spiritual convictions? Are they similar? Do you feel this is someone that can sharpen you in your walk with Christ? What about your career, ministry, individual goals and visions? Are they aligned? If they are, then you can be sure that you will go far together in life. The relationship must be a symbiotic one involving mutual interests. It should never be one-sided. That means the other person must be accepting of you and love you just as you love them too. You must both be convinced about what you have together and complementing efforts should be in place. All of these are things that you should take note of even before going into the relationship. When there is mutual agreement, you can be sure that your bond with that person will be strong and you will have a long-lasting relationship. Strong Convictions Convictions are very important in whatever a person does in life. It guides the interests of the person and keeps them going in times that are not convenient or comfortable. This includes your relationship as well. Before you decide to move on with that brother or sister, you have to be very sure. There should be something that guides your decision such that whatever comes up during the course of your relationship, you will still stand knowing that you are very sure this is the way you should go. Joseph took Mary to be his wife despite the circumstances surrounding her because he had a conviction and a go-ahead from God. Conviction means that you are sure of that person. You are convinced within your spirit that they are the one for you. One of the things that guide our conviction in life is the peace we experience with that person and within our hearts. And it is placed there by the Holy Spirit. Many people base their convictions on some unimportant factors such as feelings. They think that because they flow so well with a person or seem to have chemistry, then the relationship will work. But the statistics on broken relationships and divorces tells us otherwise. Chemistry that seems to exist between you is not an assurance of a lasting or successful relationship. Your convictions should be based on the Word of God and the witness of the Holy Spirit within you. Only then you can be assured of a lasting relationship. Godly Direction or Counsel There is safety in the multitude of counselors. This needs to be emphasized over and again, especially in this generation where people take decisions on their own without checking with anyone. You will definitely need people at one point or the other of your life and so, it becomes important to watch the kind of association you keep. God will not come to speak to you in person or direct you physically. He does that through men and the Holy Spirit within you. When you have the right kind of people in your life, they will be able to guide your decisions and lead you aright. Some of these people include but are not limited to your parents, pastor, friends, colleagues, and church members. Many of them have had experiences that are not pleasant and would not want you to repeat such. Some of them can see far ahead and you can trust their judgments. Look at Ruth. She was guided on what to do and what to say to Boaz. She followed the instructions she was given carefully, and it helped her in securing the right person for her. Take note of the people that God has placed in your life. They are there to guide and direct you. If you follow carefully, you will end up having a long-lasting relationship. Strong Foundation The second book of Timothy tells us that no other foundation can be laid than that which is laid and that foundation is Jesus Christ. If you will have a long-lasting relationship, Christ has to be the foundation, not any other thing. Beauty will fade, riches can develop wings, charm is deceitful, and even the euphoria you experience at the beginning is very fleeting. If you make them the basis of your relationship, it is a sure sign that you will end up shipwrecked. However, when Christ is the foundation, he makes every other thing work out smoothly. There will be love, peace, joy, and every other good thing to be experienced. 
even when storms arise, and they always will, you will have an anchor to lean on. And you can be sure your relationship will not crumble because it is built on a solid foundation.